Today I'm gonna to share with you three steps for getting your drone back to you safely using your return to home feature. Let's get started. Step one for getting your drone back safely is to set your return to home altitude or height. Now, just knowing which button to hit or which icon to touch to activate your return to home feature is not enough. You really need to understand the settings and the function of the return to home feature. In setting your return to home height, you're going to go to the top left-hand portion of your flight screen in the DJI Fly app. And the third option in is your flight status. Now my flight status certainly uh, currently says in flight. Go ahead and tap on that. Now at the very top, you see flight status again, but the second option down is your return to home height or altitude adjustment. And it's really simple and easy to set. All you do is touch the screen and drag it up and you can go as high as 465 feet or you can drag it down. Now I prefer it to be just under 200 feet. That covers just about anything in a general area, including light poles, power lines, tall trees, and even the really tall power lines that can be out there, those major heavy duty ones. Step number two, using your return to home feature. Now there's two different ways that you can activate it. The first way to activate it is the physical button on the DJI remote. Now the physical button is the same, whether you're using the new DJI Mini 3 Pro RC remote, or you're using the DJI N1 RC N1 controller. So the physical button that you see the letter H on and has a downward arrow, that is going to be your return to home button. And to activate that, you just simply hold it down and wait for a beep, and then the voice command will tell you you're returning to home. Now, the second way to activate the return to home feature is to actually use the touch screen on the DJI Fly app. So you're going to go where the same icon on the left-hand side that you would use to take off with the drone is going to be your return to home or land. Now that icon has changed and it now has an H with a circle around it and an arrow pointing down for landing or coming home. So tap that once and then you get two options in the middle of your screen. You get the land or the return to home. For us, we're gonna do return to home and activate that is the same as any other uh, feature in this area of the app. You're gonna tap and hold until the green circle completes and then let go. And there you go. The return to home feature is activated. All right, so step number three, what if you want to abort or stop the return to home once it's put into motion? Well, there's two ways to do that. The first, again, is your physical button on your remote. You can actually touch that once. You can see a pause button and it'll actually pause your return to home pattern or your return to home status. So you're actually just hovering, which is really cool. And let's just say you did it because you wanted to turn around and go fly some more. Cool, let's do that. You're gonna turn around and go to fly out, gonna hit sport mode. And then you get out a little ways and you're like, oh man, nah, I changed my mind. I just wanna come home. Well, there's a second way to use your return to home feature, pause. So now we're gonna hit return to home. The drone's coming back and you're like, no, 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 I don't wanna come back yet. <laughs> now you just hit the red icon on the left-hand side that has the X through it. It actually says tap to cancel return to home. You just tap that and your return to home pattern, flight pattern has been canceled. And now again, you're just hovering in place, not going anywhere. Using the return to home feature is kind of a lazy way to not have to put a lot of thought or even stress out about getting your drone back to you safely. Just don't forget to always keep your eye on your drone, especially as it gets overhead of your home point and wants to start landing. You may want to take over manually in case something goes awry. Now let's learn how to take some great photos with your DJI drone. In the next video, you can click or tap up here. I will go over basic controls and settings for your camera. All right, done.